guys welcome to the shade set uh, I, I was thinking of making this video like yesterday obviously it's the time of this video and then well the Premier League is back almost back it's like it's Friday here and it's still cloudy out there but uh, I was not able to make time to make this video yesterday I was like thinking well, what has happened it was still a very shocking thing I was going through Twitter and I was like why would David Luiz want to leave? And then I was uh, going through all the things that could have happened between him and Frank. Now, so I thought of making this video. It's like kind of a you know mixed feelings uh, as to see someone like David Luiz leave, uh, mainly because he has been such a huge uh, player for Chelsea. He was part of the team uh, that won the Champions League 2012 in Munich against Bayern at their home stadium. He was the last person left on the team at this win. It's like, this is so strong. Anyways, uh, so it was kind of weird to see him go like this. He has gone before he has been to PSG. And this time he was uh, leaving us like this. And so initially when the news came up, he has already signed a new contract. So initially when the news came up, I was like, why would he like to go unless there was... And then the news came in and that he had a bust up with Frank and um, so i felt like what i think about it some people are saying that david is our best uh, you know david Luiz is our best man in the defense and so i wanted to talk about it and see how i feel about it the whole thing you know it's a friday over here so pretty much when the video gets uploaded it's going to be friday uh in london as well so now what do you what do i think about the whole situation uh, let's let's uh, first start with the whole situation. What could have happened here? Now, this is my personal view. What I think would have happened is uh, there would have been the couple of matches, the friendlies that were going in, and somebody, uh, maybe Frank, would have told him that he might not be the first choice. Now, last season, just a few months ago, you know, he could go to that uh, that situation uh, with Sari and uh, Gary Cahill. A similar kind of situation maybe at the beginning of last season might have been and Sari might have told Gary Kay and say you're not my first choice, you're not going to be a second choice or third choice, you know, they are players like Rudiger, you know, David Luiz <laughs> and last season, I'm talking about last season when Sari might have spoken the same way to uh, Gary Kale. so you have to take a step back. And at the end of the season when Gary, when Cahill left to Chelsea, uh, he ha he went public saying that this is how I was treated when I have won so much for this club. This manager treated me so badly. So, a similar kind of thing might have happened here where, you know, Frank might have told him that, dude, you're 32, you might have uh, done quite a bit, but now you still make mistakes. This is a time when you need to step back. We are giving you more chance. We have Zuma, we have Rudiger, Rudiger as in when he's coming, uh, he's fit, fully fit that is, Christensen and uh, you know if Dave can play as a as a central defender as well as when needed, so keeping all those things in mind, uh, he might have told him that dude, you might not be our first choice, maybe he will get to play because again, Chelsea is going to play two matches a week. It's not that Chelsea is going to play one match. We are playing um, from September. We are going to play two matches a week. We are going to play Champions League in the midweek. We are going to play uh, Premiership matches as we normally play. And so there will be two matches a week. You need four players. You need fresh players. So you need a lot of players to be there. So interesting uh, should have been that he will be playing one of those matches. I mean, if you look at last season under Sari, uh, Luis was playing one match every week. He, I mean, there was Rudiger and Luis playing once. And then Rudiger was playing with Christensen, and then Christensen was playing with Luis. Um, and so there were three defenders. This time would have been four defenders, which have been even better for Chelsea. Though I know Tomori is still there, and there was a call of Tomori will be leaving, uh, will be going to Everton or some other club, most likely Everton, because Everton wanted Zuma. Chelsea didn't want to give Zuma to Everton, you know, all that saga that was going in. It feels like a soap opera, you know, it feels like a soap opera. It feels like. Man, it's, it's all the script, it's like a Hollywood script going on here. So anyways, that's what happened. Uh, Tomori did not uh, go to Everton or any other club because of Luis suddenly changing. Now there is a chopper out there. Uh, you might see it. Oh, I don't see, I, I see that. So that's the sound. Anyways, let's go, come back to it. So, why then would uh, this guy leave? So, 
So again, Frank might have told him that, dude, you're not my first choice. He had a bust up. He said that I'm not playing unless I give you me in the top two for defenders. Because you know, the kind of defenders you have, you might need as a top defender. And then Frank might have not agreed with it. There could have been, yeah, because you know, Frank and David Luiz are going back because they won the Champions League together. They have been teammates when Frank was playing for Chelsea. So they will have some kind of a bond. So I'm not sure exactly why exactly they have two players who have been together in the same team, played for the team, will suddenly fall out. Now I know Frank is the manager and he wants to put his foot down. I'm going to talk about it a little bit on that later. Uh, the foot down uh, fact. But then I guess then um, Louis said, give me a transfer. And because he has his restaurant here in London, so he would not be liking to go somewhere else. Then his thing is, I want to go to Arsenal. Uh, not Crystal Palace, not West Ham, but Arsenal. And then Arsenal has got some good players, uh, you know, this season. They could be a team which can finish second, third this season. Uh, but then, Chelsea, from Chelsea point of view, if you look at it, why not keep David Luiz on the bench? Why not keep him on the stands? And then, you rot. I mean, like a lot what Sadi did to Cahill. You just rot for one season. And... Uh, Good thing about Chelsea this season has been that Chelsea is trying to sell our, uh, you know, our loan players or players who are not getting into the first team or players who are not playing in. So there's a little more intent this season than last last season uh, or the previous seasons, not just last season. Mainly be of the fact that Chelsea is seeing that, uh, you know, we just got too many players in the books and we need to get rid of the dead wood or not playing it that badly or at least get them more chances if they have genuine chances of going to some other club and play, let them go. So keeping that in mind, I think the same thing with David Luiz. I mean, if you look at it, some of our players like Danny Drinkwater, uh, Bakayoko, uh, these are the kind of players who have been in Chelsea books and not playing for Chelsea. And the, all these kind of players, including David Luiz, will be a lot of money, 100 quid a week. 100 quid a week. They are earning Danny Drinkwater is earning 120 uh, 120,000 pounds uh, a week, if I'm not wrong, and that's a lot of money. And he's not playing a single match, sitting on the bench, or not even on the bench, sitting on the stands and earning that kind of money. David Luiz would have done the same thing had Frank would have said, You go and sit on the stands, we're not selling you, you have a new contract, we don't care. If Chelsea would have gone ahead, Frank would have gone ahead and said that. That would not benefit Chelsea. Um, so I guess. From the Chelsea point of view, Chelsea Football Club point of view, what we did, what they thought, what Marina would have thought is like, let him go, 8 mil, not the kind of money, maybe a little more, but 32 years old, let him go, let's see how he does over there. Uh, they already have, they don't have the best of uh, the defenders in Arsenal. A lot like us, but then we have, I think we have a better defense uh, lineup, even without Luis. So, they are Mustafi and they are now they got the other I don't know how that is going to manage out there. They considered four goals in the Europa Cup with that team. I don't know if David Luiz going there would actually benefit them. I don't think so. But then again, we have to see that how uh, going there for David Luiz will be actually for his career. Will he get to play there? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he'll start. Maybe he'll have, again, two matches a week for them as well. They are playing Europa and we are playing Champions League. He said, I want to ban, I want to go there, I have a restaurant in London, I'm not going any, anywhere other than that. And if you look at the William thing, it's a William, the reason why William has also, you know, wanted to stay in London and wanted a new contract with Chelsea is because of this, because he, he and David Luiz has a restaurant in London and they don't want to leave London. Uh, so David Luiz wanted to go there and he wants to play at least Europa Cup football, he thinks. And then Arsenal comes along and said, yeah, man, you have enough experience and we can do with a player like you at this moment and so there you go and Chelsea thought that let him go we'll get 8 million and uh, if the transfer ban once the transfer ban is over we go out shopping all these players let him go we don't want to spend extra money we don't want to keep him on the bench and pay 100, 100 quid a week uh, it doesn't make sense so that all what happened Frank said let him go we have the youth players hoping that Zuma and Christensen for now and Rudiger comes in. Hopefully they don't have injuries. Dave can chip in. Tomori is there. It's not going to be so easy. <laughs> I mean, when you go through the names, you know that it's not going to be an easy season for Chelsea. It's just like uh, David Luiz and 
and then this place now coming to this do you think um, uh, why David Luiz was the best defender the first question that I got through a lot of player people are saying that he's the best I think he's not he makes a lot of mistakes he makes a lot of mistakes he hardly comes around these days not making mistakes obviously he is one of those players who also scores once in a while goals I mean for defenders if you're in Chelsea in the last couple of seasons one defender has scored goals for Chelsea not many but still is David Luiz so that is one thing he is like uh, Alonso Alonso has also not been the best of our players but then if you look at it Alonso uh, Alonso is one of those players who comes up and scores some goals a lot like Pedro does uh, you know Pedro has this one match out of uh, every five matches when he will lit up and suddenly score a goal and suddenly make a difference uh, Alonso does that once in a while he'll suddenly make a difference score a goal and that's it and David Luiz is also one of those players maybe not in one out of five matches maybe a little more than that but so yeah so that point of view but uh, otherwise his main role in the, in, in the team that is being the um, defender is not I think Kurt Zuma has done a lot for Everton last season the reason why you know in Everton fans were going like free Zuma thing in, in uh, trending in um, Twitter we know that how important Zuma has become I think Zuma was when he was brought in from France that he would have been the next Desai Things have not worked for him because mainly of his injury. I hope there's no more injuries for him. I hope things go, uh, things work out for him. If it does, it will be great for Chelsea because I think he is, along with Rudiger, would be the first choice uh, defenders for us. And then Christensen comes in. Again, we have three and then Tomori. I'm not sure Tomori is ready for the Premier League. Uh, even if he plays one or, or two matches, I'm not sure you can really trust Tomori. He can go out there and do some work for Chelsea. But then... You know, it's uh, what we can do now on the deadline day when suddenly you have one of your players say, well, I don't want to play for you, I want to still stay in London but I'll play for one of your rivals. Some of the people were saying uh, about, uh, about why Arsenal. I mean, it's good for him and he, that he, should not go, he should have not gone to Arsenal. And people calling him names like Snake and all that. He was the biggest snake in Courtois. People are saying that. So let's, let's get into the fact that let's not call names. He has still done some great things for Chelsea. I'm not the best of fan of David Luiz in recent times uh, and I think he should have been let go two years uh, back. Uh, I have strongly stated that players like David Luiz should have left uh, because they were one of the, some of those players who led to the, uh, you know, the sacking of Mourinho 2.0 and Conte. You know, the, that season when Conte, two seasons back, when Conte got, um, when Conte got sacked, the whole entire season David Luiz did not play and that is also one thing I mean Chelsea did not want that to happen here as well Chelsea could have told him to sit on the stands for the next season yep Frank is gonna be there if you don't want to play I don't care you stay but uh, Chelsea did not do that because two seasons back under Conte David Luiz had a fallout and the entire season in the name of injury or whatever he did not play the entire season and so many of the such senior players in Chelsea, like Fabregas when he was here, even Hazard, and more, especially Mourinho 2.0, and to a certain extent, even last season you know, during Sari's time, when players had a player power thing, which I have talked about previously in my in my uh, in this channel for a long time, that there is a huge player power thing in Chelsea and even in Manchester United, and these players want to dictate that who the boss is because they have been there for so long, and that was just showing it. Frank, you were my teammate, but you're the manager, but you want to understand, I am being here for a long time, and though you are the absolute legend of the club, you are still a young manager, so listen to me. So that doesn't work, actually. For, for my point of view, Frank did the right thing, totally supporting Frank on this one. And uh, so the player power thing cost uh, Mourinho and Conte their jobs, and to a certain extent, Sari left, mainly because of that, because Sari was saying that there were lots of hiccups the likes of your players not willing to play your kind of formation I made, made a lot of players uh, last season from November till February were not in a line with his style you know the likes of Willian the likes of even uh, though David Luiz played even Hazard but then Hazard kept on playing because he wanted a contract with Real Madrid his uh, main goal was to not stay at Chelsea so we all know that though we all love Hazard including myself so that player part thing had to go and Frank supporting Frank being the Frank has been you know, a Chelsea legend as a player and it was just a great thing to see it's just a great thing to do because 
we need uh, what I feel is we need that um, SAF kind of thing what SAF had was Sir Alex Ferguson had at, Stam, at Old Trafford he dictated terms he was the manager he was the man and that is what you need at modern football now it's missing the players are thinking that they can call the shots because they have been there for too long and they are they're, they're bigger numbers but for Frank it's a little different because Frank is the Chelsea legend you know, a new manager comes in who has no Chelsea, um, you know, doesn't have any Chelsea credentials, might not be easy. Like what happened to Sari? You know, Sari left because he knew that he's not going to get the support or Conte was sacked because like the what Frank will get. Frank is going to get because he's got his own team. He has got Jody Morris, he's got Petr Cech at the top. So they got people who will be supporting him more. And uh, I guess that is the way to go. I mean, how Sar Alex Ferguson Saf did when he uh, told Paul Ince to leave, he told Beckham to leave and that is the manager calls the shot, not the players. And I really, really like the fact that Chelsea stood behind Frank and said, Frank, you call the shots. If you think David Luiz is not playing and David Luiz want to go, let him go, cut him out, cut him loose. We are supporting Frank Lampard and that is exactly, maybe it's the start of the season, six months down the line if Chelsea is 15th in the league and out of the... Um, both the Champions League and Europa Cup. We have to see how things go that time. That time, if the club will really support Frank or not, that will be interesting to see because um, that is a different thing altogether. So, I think all in all, uh, you know, a lot of lot of Chelsea fans are in shock. I think I'm not in shock. I think he should have been let go two seasons back uh, when that uh, Mourinho 2.0 happened. And uh, even when Conte, I mean, two seasons back was Conte sacking and he did not play a part in that season. And uh, he has already been to PSG, as a lot of people referred when uh, he scored the goal for PSG. He uh, he celebrated like he has, it was his biggest goal in the career and when playing for a club like Chelsea and then playing for PSG and scoring that goal against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and still behaving like, ah, oh, so I've done a great job. Not, not a lot of people liked it and now this, a lot of, all these people are coming out and seeing that. But then, all in all, I think it's it's a good time that David Luiz left. He should have left. He's 32. It doesn't make sense to keep these players, uh, according to me. I mean, William shouldn't have been given a contract. I'm not not sure why William was given a contract. But then, obviously, with the Stamford, uh, with the transfer ban, which is a, a typical Arkley's heel for Chelsea this season. That's the reason why this contract was given to William. That's the reason why David Luiz was given a contract. I'm pretty sure, had we had no transfer ban, these players would have been gone. You know, we would have gone for better players. Uh, makes sense. So, you know, all in all, it's. Uh, I think it's a good thing to go. I know, obviously, it's deadline day, and we don't have players. Uh, we have to do. Either way, we had to do with players. I mean, if we have injuries, say for example, if David Luiz were injured for the next six months, we had to do with Zuma. We had to do with Rudiger. We had to do with what we have. We couldn't go out and buy a player. So, uh, David Luiz going to some other club, or David Luiz playing. Uh, getting injured for Chelsea wouldn't have made much difference here had he got injured obviously had he stayed now coming to that staying thing uh, though I'll try to make a video tomorrow about the staying part and where I think Premier League uh, because tomorrow the Premier League starts and where we, I think Chelsea will uh, you know end up at the season it's not easy to say as I'll just you know touch on it a little bit uh, it's kind of interesting with the Premier League back uh, is that you have to understand that uh, Chelsea had no hopes of finishing top four last season. We yet we finished third, yet we won the Europa Cup. Um, so this season also, and many people will say a top six finish, maybe sixth or fifth or sixth. Uh, I was really, in, in, you know, really, really feeling that top four would have been our chance this season. We can still finish top four because we really need Champions League. And uh, now that David Luiz is gone, and again, I don't think David Luiz is our first choice. But if you keep in mind, if you have look at the defenders that we have. And I'll touch base uh, a little bit right now, but I'm, I'm going to talk more on uh, in the next video tomorrow. Hopefully I'll make that video on that. That, you know, if you look at the Chelsea defence with Zuma, Rudiger and Christensen, all these three players go. Dave might come in in the central defence. I'm not sure about it. Because Reese James, how much you can think Reese James can do a job every day in, day out. Maybe he can do once in a while. And then you come to tomorrow. And then you know that this is not the defence who's going to really you know, make it happen if you want to finish in the top four and then if you look at uh, strikers and our, our wingers you know Hudson Oda is going to come back and again we have seen Hudson Oda is not a finished article he might do 
well in certain matches. There will be certain matches he will not be doing well. It's quite natural. Pulisic, you cannot expect him to do well every match because he's just come in. He will take some time to just settle down. And then we have our strikers, unless Batsuai or Giroud or Tammy Abram comes up with the goals in big matches and all the matches, it's going to be tough. So our midfield is where is our best hope, you know, Kante, Jorginho, Kovacic, Loftus Sheik and uh, Barclay and Mason Mount. But otherwise, it's a, not going to be an e easy season for Chelsea, but I'm going to uh, talk about it tomorrow, a little more about it. So anyways, coming back to the Luis thing, it's a video on David Luis. I still hope at the end of the day, uh, best of luck to him. Hope he has a good career at, uh, at Arsenal. But saying all that, I think it was the right thing to do, uh, let him go. And it should have been done uh, much before. But uh, we have to support the club, we have to support Frank. And in all his endeavours, I think Frank is the way to go for us. We have to believe that Frank has a vision for us to go back. And uh, we will prevail at the end of the day. And we are such a big club, we will prevail. Anyways, I keeping at that, I might have missed a couple of points. Maybe I'll think about it after the video. I should have said that. But anyways, I'm keeping at that. Hopefully, you guys can let me know in the comment section as always. And like, what do you guys think about this whole situation? It's uh, pretty much done and dusted now. The deadline is, is over. But keep it coming in the comment section as always. Uh, until next time, guys. Uh, ciao.